nothing I've ever done that's been quite like this. I think there's all kinds of mixed up cultural references in the style and the look of the film, and Tim wanted to keep that same thing going with the music, like really keeping it off and center and mixed up, but in a way that you wouldn't quite know what to expect. For the score of Charlie, all the themes really work between uh, Willy Wonka and Charlie. The heart of the story is always as it's perceived either through Charlie's eyes and or from Willy Wonka's perspective. So that's where I focused uh, thematically, was following them, because it's through them that we're being told the story. Tim asked me to start doing these songs, and it was this kind of crazy, fun, experimental process. The first song was Augustus Gloop. So I just started doing the song at home, and I grabbed the mic and laid on about 50 voices. <laughs> Having written Augustus Gloop, I imagined all the songs would be variations on the same thing. But Tim was like, no, no, no. We'll make each one completely different, so you don't know what's going to be next. So we talked about what the second song should be like. And I wanted to be kind of like a little bit love fest, hippie-ish. The salt, the has just gone down the garbage. Finish that one, third one, what are we going to do? Mike TV. It's got to be like pumping, pumping, pumping metal, heavy guitars, heavy guitars. And for the last one, now, mm -hmm, now where are we going to go? Constructing those songs was just such a romp. I just kind of went with him and had fun. Brother, well done. <laughs>